check this out. Just pull a knife out. Magnet fishing literally became magnet fishing. <laughs> That's crazy. I wonder if anybody's ever done that. Leave it to me. All right, I'm out on the creek today. We're gonna do a little bit of magnet fishing. <clears throat> I'm using a Brute Magnetics rig, which is really nice. You can see I've already thrown it out once and pulled back a bunch of crap on it. We're gonna throw it up this way where the bridge is and hope we can find something pretty cool. Uh, this is the 350 pound magnet. Uh, seems to do really well, I like it. It's not too heavy. I like that bright yellow cone on it to help keep it from getting caught on anything. Also, if you were to lose it, that, that really iridescent yellow will help you be able to find it in the water. So they really use their head on that one. So I'll get back with you here in a minute after we find something cool. So being my first time out magnet fishing, uh, the first cast, I got some serious rope burn. So I figured out real quickly you're gonna need a good pair of gloves while you're out here. Anybody need a seat belt? That's crazy. Looks like it's been cut down there. I don't know what it would have been off of. Makes you wonder if somebody had wrecked right here at one point and uh, flipped off the bridge and they had to cut the seat belts to get them out. Or maybe that's just my imagination running crazy, but Huh, just shows you, you never know what you'll pull out of here. We'll keep on going. Nice, nice big steel bar off of something. We'll take that out of here and scrap it as well. Cleaning the creek up one piece of iron at a time. That's all right though, we'll keep on going. Check this out, just pull a knife out. That's been in there a long time. A long time, it's a good size knife. I don't know what it would have been used for. Uh, I'll definitely be getting that out of the creek where nobody will be standing on it in the future. But there again, makes me wonder how it ended up in here. If it was somebody fishing or uh, somebody just dropped one out of their pocket while they were canoeing or kayaking years ago. I mean, that looks like that's been here for years. Hey, who knows, maybe it's even a murder weapon. You don't never know what you'll find while you're magnet fishing. So, you know, today being my first time out, I've learned a few valuable lessons on how to throw it uh, and also about the gloves that like I mentioned earlier keep from getting rope burned you need to have some gloves you don't mind getting wet but I tell you what I like doing I like walking the creek already looking for bottles I actually just got to where I've been tying this behind me and walking with it about 10 foot behind me and every five or ten minutes I check it and it's like I'm just I'm cleaning up two ways. I'm, I'm picking up bottles and I'm cleaning up for magnet fishing and I'm not having to do anything but just check the magnet every few minutes and clear off that uh, the rust and stuff off of it. So it's kind of making me uh, double effective in the sense that I'm finding more than just bottles. So it's, it's kind of fun. I, I'm enjoying it. It's a good time. But anyways, I guess we'll keep going for a few more minutes to see if anything else pops out. So check out how much rust and steel and magnetic rock <laughs> I picked up. That's in about 10 minutes of just walking. It's crazy how much stuff is in the bottom of these creeks around here. Check out this insulator I just found. Looked down and saw it. It sucks that it's broke. It's the uh, more of the olive green, which is the rare one. It's not one of the more common, uh, the Hemingway 42s or 45s, whichever is the most common, I can't remember. Uh, that would have been a really nice one kind of sucks that it's broke but hey you never know there might be a whole one laying around the next turn we'll keep on going for a few more minutes so this is pretty cool I just threw the magnet in and I pulled this can out by the lid and I was like well crap and about that time a bluegill was in it he must have been oh come here we'll take it throw him back in the water before he dies come here buddy He's all tangled up in the weeds up here. Yeah, check that out. Magnet fishing literally became magnet fishing. <laughs> That's crazy. I wonder if anybody's ever done that. Leave it to me. 
All right, buddy. Catch and release. We'll keep going. Well, I had a quick, about 45 minute hunt on my lunch break, so that was a good time. Uh, I highly recommend the Brute Magnetics uh, 350 pound magnet with that yellow plastic cone. Uh, I did pretty well today. Found a knife, piece of steel, that uh, seat belt, a couple other items, some nails, some other stuff that I didn't record. Found the insulator all within about 45 minutes. And like I said, today was kind of more of an experiment and me getting used to uh, using the magnet than anything. Uh, it was it was a really good time. Uh, what I'll do is I'll post a link to the magnet uh, below so y'all can check that out uh, on Amazon. It's pretty neat. Um, he has the full set where it will come with a paracord like you see here. Uh, the guy that actually owns the company, his name's Clay, really cool guy. So uh, y'all feel free to email him if you have any questions or heck, you can even ask me. I'm not an expert at all, but um, I, I would be more than happy to try to uh, answer any of the questions that you have. But that being said, I guess we'll go ahead and get out of here and we will see y'all in the next video.